Hi, I'm Luke. I'm here at Gear for Music today with the new CK series from Yamaha. I'm here to give you the top five of everything. First up is the top five features for studio use. Number one, experimentation. So this is a great keyboard for creating your own sounds and your own sort of textures and stuff. So there's three different layers, but you can add so many different insert effects and global effects and change things like the card off on the fly, and you can change things like the envelope for the sound. Um, yeah, so for example, I've got up here now just an electric piano sound, then I've got a delay on. And then I can bring in a piano over the top. And I can add overall reverb to that as well. And I can bring in a nice pad. And I can change the cutoff of that pad. I've got all the different volumes here. Number two, connectivity. So in the studio, you know, you might turn up and you might want to play someone a song. And so this has now got inbuilt Bluetooth. So it's very easy to play something from your phone straight through the internal speakers or out through the, uh, the studio speakers if you connected it up. Also, there's a, uh, a, an audio interface inbuilt, which is a two in, two out, so a stereo and stereo out um, input, which can go straight into your door through USB and you can also record your MIDI through it along with the old classic sort of five pin MIDI cables as well. Another feature is you've got an AD in, so you could add a guitar or maybe a microphone and you can add it in, merging it with the actual sounds within the, uh, the keyboard if you want, but adding the internal effects as well. So you might add a gate or you might add reverbs or choruses or whatever it might be, and you can record through the instrument straight into your door. Number three, all the instruments. So this is really a go-to, an all-in-one box that's got all your instruments that you might want as a keys player. So the, from classic piano sounds to an upright piano to um, electric pianos from like the 70s or your DX7 from like the 80s. Moving on through to the organ with, with like absolute drawbar effects that you can use, brass, guitars, pretty much anything you can probably find in here. So let's just go through a few examples. Let's get a lovely, massive CFX grand piano. And we can spin it on and we can find uh, a nice upright. And then we can keep going on through there. Let's find some electric piano. So old sort of timed instrument. We let's add a little bit of overdrive to that. Uh, there we go. So you can get some real bite into that stuff. Are oh, there some Amazing old DX sounds as well, which probably sound great with a little bit of chorus on them. Um, that's too much chorus. <laughs> okay. And then moving on, we've got the, uh, the draw bars organs as well, so we can turn on our rotary speaker and we're in. And we can add some drive. And there's also some, actually some beautiful pipe organs in here as well. Um, so... Some great brass. Some lovely... Acoustic pianos, some good strings. We can turn that into a pad real quick by just rolling off that top. But there's 100 or I mean, there's 65 pads in here at the moment. So let's just find a random pad, 80s pad. And lots of leads as well, which we can turn into mono so we can add uh, portamento and stuff as well. And then into things like chromatic percussion, which is, I mean, it's kind of like Ed Sheeran sort of sound, isn't it? Oh, 
all that sort of stuff. And then there's one other, last one called Others, which is going to give you a whole load of random, worldy type things, like mandolin, for example, which I have no idea how to play a mandolin, so... Yeah, pretty much anything that you might want for the studio. Number four, two sizes. So the CK series comes in these two sizes, the CK88 next to me and the CK61 behind me. So the 88 note one here is the GHS graded hammer standard uh, action, which is very much like a, you know, a piano sort of feel, quite weighted. If you're lucky enough to have a big enough studio where you could have this as a focal point, you could have, you'd be playing everything through it, like your, your external gear or your uh, VST instruments and stuff. But if, you're, if you've got a smaller space, the 61 note has all the same features, all the same sounds in a much smaller package. Number five, less menu diving. So there's some great keyboards on the market that could do almost anything, but you have to jump through lots of different pages to get to it and know where it is. The great thing about the CK series is there's a lot of hands-on like, interfaces. So for example, the cutoff we spoke about earlier, I could just jump straight to it and I know where my cutoff is. I can um, add like reverb immediately. Imagine I've got a piano, but it's too bassy. I could just like run a little bit of bass off here on the, uh, on the equalizer. Other things like, adding effects. So I've got a, um, a Reed electric piano and I want to add a, uh, a trem to it. So, But that trem might be going slightly out of, your, out of the tempo of the track. So I can actually change the tempo of the trem on the fly until I find it's just right and what I want for this studio. Moving on to my top five for live use. So number one, portability. The CK series is just incredibly light for, for the size and for the features you've got on it. So this 88 comes in at just 13.1 kilos and the little one behind me comes in at just over five and a half. You can get like a gig bag as well where the, the 88 one has like wheels on it so you can drag it behind you and the, uh, the little 61 actually has like a rucksack thing so you could ride your bike as well with it on your back. Along with the, uh, the, the inbuilt speakers, it can also amazingly run on battery power as well. So you can add eight AA batteries and you're away. You can turn up, say you've got a singer and you need to move to the next room, have a little rehearsal. You don't have to take any speakers with you. You don't have to take any, find a, a plug socket. You can just walk in there, practice away, or say you're, you're working with a choir in the middle of a church, or let's say you're gonna go somewhere, you're gonna busk. You can literally just turn up, put it on a stand, turn it on and you're away. Number two, expressive key bed. So obviously the CK series is like the younger brother or sister to the Yamaha's like uh, CP range and the YC. And for me, those keyboards and this one now have taken like some of the expressiveness you can get from electric pianos to another level. I've got like a beautiful old S90XS, which I use on tour, but it doesn't have the same bite that you can get from the electric pianos. It, it does feel like you're actually going through like an old, um, uh, old uh, guitar amp with an old Tyne 70s electric piano. Uh, even the 61, was my first one I got to play at the studio. And um, I was just playing the, the pianos and the electric pianos, and I didn't feel, well, everything I, I wanted to play was coming back out through my fingers. Number three is versatile voice selection. So this is a three layer keyboard. So you've got A, B, and C, and they can actually obviously be layered over the top of each other. But you can also split the keyboard. So you can have A just down at the bottom, and then B and C over each other, or you can split it into three sections, so you can have A, B, and C completely separate. So for example, I've got an electric piano here. And if I wanted to, even though my split point's already on, if I turn on A now, that's one of the split points opens up. So now I've got a, a, a bass down the bottom. And what's nice is actually, is I've got the whole use of the electric piano here still. But if I want to turn on C now, that's opened up my third split point that I've already programmed up. So now I could be... And I've added some brass at the top there. So if someone's demands that you have to play a little bit of brass in one section, I could just decide that I just want that, just on that top octave. And it's just such a versatile thing for live use. Number four is real-time control. And we've already looked at the amount that you can get into the sound from the cutoffs and envelope to uh, getting in on the effects and the, and the master effects and stuff on the fly. But we haven't actually looked at the, uh, the drawbars yet. So what we've got here, is the old classic tone wall organs from the, probably the 60s and 50s even. Um, and what I can do is I can bring in the harmonics that build up the sound. And the really sort of dirty harmonics here. And that's all at the fingertips. 
Another great thing as well is the external keyboard um, like possibilities, which is taken from the YC, where I can decide that one of these sections goes, or I can, any of the sections, go to another external keyboard. So, for example, I can say, I, do you know what? I don't want A to be played on this keyboard. I want it to go to another one. So I could have, say, a, a light keyboard at the top that's just got my organs. Or, alternatively, I could get like a 61. I could have that on top, and I could have an old 88-note piano, and I could say all my electric pianos and my pianos go down to the bottom of the keyboard. Another great feature as well, also taken from the CP and the YC, is foot pedal control. So you can actually get like a, um, a, a rocker pedal and you can say, I want this rocker pedal in this one patch that I've saved to control that, 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 that. Volume of B, uh, the cutoff of C. You can choose and you can save it per patch, which gives you just like so much control over your sounds. Number five is again, connectivity. So I've already mentioned this keyboard has Bluetooth built in. So in a live situation, you could have backing tracks on your phone and you could be playing it through the, the keyboard and out through the main speakers or you know, out through the jacks. And you could have all these songs that you play along to using Bluetooth. Uh, there's also the ability to plug in two pedals. So I've got an SC3 sustain pedal here at the moment, an SC7 expression. And each of the patches that we save, we can make those do different things. So with the FC7, for example, which is like a rocker, I could have it just on volume B, or I can have it on just on cutoff C, or just on my drive. And you can also limit where it starts and moves to. So I could say, don't go from 0 to 127. I want you just to tickle from like 50 to 60 on a certain volume. Um, again, it's got the, the audio interface, so two in, two out, which means that you could have your laptop here, and you could be running sort of like VST instruments as well, which will go back through the keyboard and through the speakers and out through the jacks. Another feature which I haven't touched on yet, is the ability to plug in a USB stick in the back. And those things now can be like, I mean, 32 gig or 64 gig or, or more, I don't even know. And what you can do with this is you can put backing tracks that you've created in the studio. So you're not, we're not relying on old, midi, horrible backing tracks anymore. It's something that you've created. And you can decide whether you want to like kick it off with either the bottom note or the top note. You can program it in. And on each of the, uh, the patches, you can save a different backing track. So for example, I've got one loaded in here and I just press the top note. And actually, that one shows there, that's a one shot. So like this, I could go. Or I could actually choose to do something like this where it's a start and a stop. So every time I stop it, you know. So there's the different options. And all these things will hopefully just give you so, so much versatility in the live situation. So that was my top five features for studio and live use on the new CK series. But there's also a couple of like um, notable mentions before I get into some of the sounds. Um, there's a couple of apps that are really good. There's the established app called uh, Sound Mondo that you may have used on the CPYC, Modiex montage, and the refaces and stuff, where you can like you can save sounds and save patches and also share them online and grab sort of say someone's already done the programming for a, a track that you're doing on a covers gig and you can search, you'll find someone has, has done like Toto and they put it up there and you can immediately download it. And then from that point, you can edit it to how you might like. But there's also a new app, which I've actually just got my hands on just now called Wreck and Share. And with this one, you can actually add in um, like songs that you want to play along to and songs you want to practice perhaps that you can slow down and speed up. But also if you can see here, but there's like uh, the ability to separate the sound as well. So, what I can do is I can play, so this is my, my mate's band called the, the White Lakes, and what we're gonna do is play their song, and I can actually separate it into the separate elements. Said, let's be friends, it's so complicated. Which means that we can play along with just the vocals or or how we might want to practice, and we can speed it up and we can slow it down. It's not like studio, studio quality, but it's what a tool to sort of like to play along to. Um, and then also in here, we've got another ability that we can um, record as we play and then, and then put it up on TikTok or, or on uh, like Instagram or something. So I'm just going to do, I'll try and play along. And, um, but yeah, so what we can do is bring it up and then press record, and hopefully it will come in. Uh, let me find a decent sound. Want to be sad, and I still think you're 
And then what we can do is have a look and play it back and see if we want to post it. That could be a lot of fun, I think, on things like, you know, Instagram stories and stuff. So I think they're two great apps that come along with this. and They're both free and definitely something to play with when you get the CK series. So with all these instruments, it's good to play them yourself, find the sounds that you want and you need. Uh, but here's five of my top sounds for the CK. So that's the new CK series. Um, oh, well, one thing we haven't actually discussed is the price point. I mean, as you may have realized, it's coming in underneath the CP and the YC, and it's going to give real power per buck. It's going to be such a workhorse for the, for the money. So uh, yeah, if you've liked what you've seen, uh, like and subscribe wherever it is, and uh, we'll see you next time.